ghetto everyone. This little uh, D Max here has been in our shed for about shit ten months now, I think. Uh, probably close to. It's one of the brand. It was one of the latest and the first to land in Australia. The uh, D Max X Terrain, top spec D Max basically. Um, has all the bells and whistles, all the smarts you could ever think of. It tells you when you're falling asleep. It wants to pull your car up when you're going too fast, too slow, all that sort of stuff. But we're um. We're really impressed by it. We really like it. That's why we thought we'd do a video on it. It's the first D-Max that we've ever done a complete build on. It has taken this long because we had to wait for all the parts, components to be developed, designed, uh, ADR compliant, all that sort of stuff for us to put into a build package. Um, this one's going down to Victoria. It has a federally approved uh, BP51 GVM upgrade. There's two different weight capacities. There's uh, 3360 and there will be a 3500 kit coming soon, um, which is really cool. Um, 3500 is pretty standard for most of the smaller class dual cab utes. It gives you a pretty big payload. Um, it's about a two and a half inch lift. We've got some poly air um, double bellow bags in the rear as well, just to assist when he's towing or puts a roof tent on the top. Um, we've got, it is the um, Norwell Deluxe Light Compact Canopy. It's a full-time mount. Uh, it's 1500 long. We prefer to stick with this length on most of the dual cabs, unless you're going chassis extensions and stuff like that. But um, a compact canopy fits the build perfectly. We try and keep the length. Uh, a standard dual cab com normally comes out with about a 15 to 1600 mil tub. So putting a compact series canopy on it is trying to match what they come out standard with. Obviously it's a heavier setup than a tub. Um, so we need to keep the weight and length uh, down as much as we can. Just the one spare tire on the back. If you do want to run a second, you can still put one underneath. Um, that's as far as the Hiluxes, uh, D-Maxes, Rangers, and pretty sure the Colorados as well. You can still house the tire underneath as well if you want to run a second spare. Um, but yeah, we've got the one, one drawer on this side, the slide out table. We can either put a drop down clear view slide in here or we've opted to run the Bushman 130 litre upright in this canopy. We can also fit a chest fridge on the other side, which we'll show you soon. Um, little travel buddy, our big red arc, red vision system, 2000 watt inverter, BMS, 200 amp hour, and a drive, BTEC lithium. All the bells and whistles, we try and assign all of our channels so it's sort of corresponding to the side that they're on. Makes it really easy for you guys to map out how it all works. Come around the back, we've got the, obviously a lot of these new dual cabs have got uh, blind spot monitoring reverse sensors, all that sort of stuff. So Norworld have developed a mount kit for the blind spot monitors. monitors. Um, we've got our lights on the back, um, full-time camera that runs through the Safety Dave screen inside the cab. And a nice big open area on the driver's side. You can have a couple, you don't have to have the shelf. You can have a 600 mil one, 1200 mil, like what this one is, or no shelf. Um, and that way you can utilize a, a massive open area if you need to. Uh, there's the Red Vision system here, double pole, RCD GPO. It's one of the first ones we've actually run the um, ARB tire deflation kit with as well. It's quite an impressive little unit. Running the new Maxxis AT2s on the um, American Outlaw Legacy rims. Awesome looking combination. Torque at stainless steel exhaust, done through diesel power unlimited. Very new early stages with tunes and stuff for these models. We need a little bit more time um, for R&D um, to perfect the tuning and power performance increases and stuff on these cars. Um, but give it a little, give it another six months or so and there's gonna be plenty out there on the market, so. Come around here, mate, we've got the Rhino Pioneer platform. This was a, this one took a while to get here as well with the new leg design. Um, we've got our standard little Nava floodlights, Max Trax mounts, and the 100 watt solar panel on top. Um, ARB Summit Deluxe Bull Bar with our usual pro, t uh, pro Touring powder coat, textured coat, Nava Ultimas, GME UHF, and the worn winch up the front. 
very cool kit. We're waiting on the mirrors. Still haven't quite finished the development stages yet uh, with Clearview for some new towing mirrors. Um, once the next gens are finished um, and on this rig, it'll really look the part, I think. Um, I'll show you inside, mate, if you want to. Quite, quite tricked up in here. Obviously, these new D-Maxes, they share um, a lot of components um, with Mazda. Uh, I'll come around the other side and talk you through it, a lot of the tech. We're running the Black Duck 4 Element C covers. Sort of matched up. This, we tried to get the stitching as close as we could to the colour of the car. It looks pretty cool. Um, safety Dave screen. We've got a little dash cam running in this one. Um, our OEM style dash, which is uh, yet to be released as well. Such a new model. We're trying to get new moulds and things made for to suit so it all looks factory. XRS GME bloody iPad looking screen up here shows you and talks to you tells you the weather pretty much everything you need to know very cool very comfortable um, if you guys have any other questions about these D-Max builds um, we're very impressed with it very happy with how they're working um, in terms of uh, how I would compare it, it's very similar to how a Hilux um, can be pieced together. Um, we prefer how these ones are put together. We've always liked working on Hiluxes. So working on a D-Max was actually sort of like a bit of a, a breath of fresh air for us. It was sort of all your panels, components came apart just as easy as a Hilux did. Um, lots of room to work, lots of room to throw cables around, mount components, stuff like that. So we know they're a reliable little truck. Um, so yeah, very happy with it. Thanks for your patience, Lee. Um, if you guys have any questions about this one, yeah, hit us up, send us an email, give us a call, drop a comment on YouTube. Cheers, guys.